Well, hey folks, welcome to Solar Cabin Channel. I've got a uh, interesting product here. This is uh, a personal portable oven. Uh, it is made by AOTTO, available on Amazon. And I've sent this to review, and I was very interested in reviewing it because, as most of you know, I live off grid. Uh, I do a lot of uh, camping. I also uh, run a lot of appliances off of 12 volt. And so I wanted to review this product because a small oven uh, that will run off a low power system, like if you're running uh, a camp from a camper, or I'm going to be using it from my Generarc portable power station, which I'll show you here in a minute. Uh, I think a product like this might be really good uh, for off-gridders or for an emergency power situation or for camping. So I'm going to unbox this, but before that, I'll just read some of what it says about it here on the... Uh, it says how how to use simple three steps. Uh, put your food into the uh, tote, plug in, and go away. Enjoy the food uh, and your delicious meal. Uh, it says that it uses 60 watts, 70 watts, or 90 watts. And the working voltage on this, it will work off of 12 volt, 220 volt, or two, uh, excuse me, it works off of 12 volt, 24 volt, or 110 volt. And hopefully it has the cords inside here so that I can run it off of both 12 volt and 110 volt because that's how I would primarily use it. Uh, and it says uh, the bag dimensions are 1023, 10.23 inches long, uh, 7.4 inches wide by 5.11 inches high. So we'll get it out here and see what it what it looks like. So let's unbox this thing. And that's all that's in the box. Oh, it's got a handle on it. it. Looks like it folds out. And then it's a lot like a, uh, a lunch bag, but it is insulated and it has what is probably an aluminum uh, lining on the inside to keep the, the uh, heat inside the unit, okay? It has, uh, it has a shoulder strap, which would be nice if you're going to take it along uh, picnicking or camping or uh, tailgating, something like that. I won't, put the, I won't put the shoulder strap on for now, but it does come with the shoulder strap. Comes with uh, a auto mini oh, Aoto mini oven, perfectly reheated. It comes with a little instruction manual, so we'll maybe read through that real quickly. And inside, it has a hot plate. Oh, there's a quartz. Okay, it has a hot plate uh, that works off of different voltages, and this goes down in the bottom, and it has the cord connectors on the back for it looks like two different types of cords depending on how you're going to run it and I'm just looking here to see where the cord okay it's got a slot in the back back here it's got a slot uh, in the back of the unit where you can plug in the different cords that you're going to be using so we'll put that in there let's see I'll take the cords out it's got the cords here in a nice convenient little slot pouch in the back and it does include, it looks like it includes both the 110, that's the 110 cord plug, and there's the uh, DC uh, 12 or 24 volt uh, plug. So I'm going to be using it off of 12 volt. And so I'm, I, I will also test it off this 110, but I'm going to run it off of 12 volt so that I can show that it would work in your vehicles. Uh, you can plug it into the uh, uh, cigarette lighter socket in your vehicles or in a camper. Or in my case, I'm going to run it off my Generarc, which also has a 12-volt plug. So that's how I'm going to be using it. But it does have the 110 cord as well. And it looks like we plug it in, probably. has a little twist tie here. So we take it and we probably run that through that slot right there. And then plug it into... The appropriate plug which you can't really mix them up they're going to be ah, there it goes nice solid connection and we'll put that down there inside the bag like so and then it's, it says that you can use uh, aluminum foil or the dishes that are made for like the ceramic dishes or like the aluminum pans or dishes that are designed that can handle some heat. I wouldn't put cheap plastic in here because it can. This will get probably hot enough that it melt cheap plastic. But you can use the other types of containers that you would use in a regular oven because that's basically what this is. It is an oven. Now uh, I have used one of these before. It was a much cheaper unit. I wasn't happy with it. Uh, but if this works the same way, uh, they will. Uh, they're best for like warming up food uh, that has already been pre-cooked 
or any uh, any of the food that you would normally cook or heat up in a microwave in a few minutes, you know, like uh, burritos and chicken patties and, you know, things like that that you would normally put in the microwave. Now, this doesn't work as fast as a microwave, but you can plug it in for like up to 30 minutes before you're ready to eat for your lunch. Uh, if you're at a job site or something like that, you can plug it in in advance 30 minutes to up to, you know, an hour or whatever, however long you need to leave it. And then you can warm your food up and have it ready when you're ready to eat your lunch or at your workplace or at your home or when you're camping and it's small enough but still has enough room that you could probably get quite a bit of food in here. So I'm going to get some food. I'm going to get my Generarc out. We're going to plug this in. We'll see how it works. Okay, so I'm going to be using my Generarc portable power station. I've done reviews on this before. Excellent unit. I use it here at the cabin all the time. I also take this with me a lot camping because it has about three days worth of storage capacity in the battery so I can charge it up and take it camping over the weekend. Use it for all kinds of appliances. It does have the 110 volt uh, outlets on it and it also has a 12 volt outlet which is what I'm going to be using for this unit here. Now I don't happen to have any of those aluminum pans. I thought I did but I was out of them. So what I'm just using is a piece of aluminum and I've got a uh, frozen burrito, it's not frozen anymore, and a, a chicken patty. Uh, those are two foods that I would normally throw in the microwave and heat up, uh, but if I don't have to use any gas and I can use this uh, Generarc instead to cook, that's great because that'll save, uh, you know, gas is expensive, and I also don't have to use any propane to heat it up. So those are two foods that I would normally cook a lot for lunch, and I'm going to fix me some lunch in this little oven and see how long it takes. Uh, I'm going to time it for 30 minutes and see if it'll cook these in 30 minutes enough that they're ready to eat. Make me a sandwich. All right, here we go. So I'm going to take... Okay, folks, so I've now had this uh, portable personal oven running for 40 minutes. Uh, it says it will take between 30 to 40 minutes uh, to cook food that is uh, already preheat, pre-cooked or that isn't frozen. At, at 30 minutes, I checked it. It was already very hot inside, and I think the food was probably already uh, ready to eat at 30 minutes. But I wanted some cheese on my... Uh, chicken sandwich so I put a piece of cheese in there to get it a little bit melty I wanted to see how that works and I also flipped the chicken patty over and the burrito over uh, so that they would face the hot plate uh, if you have really thick food you may want to do that uh, just because that way it's next to the heat so it gets thoroughly heated all the way through it is very warm inside this oven but the outside of the case is not warm to the touch okay so it's safe that way you can put it against things and you're probably not going to set anything on fire that's important it ran off my Generarc 12 volt just fine uh, and let's see how many watts it used it used uh, approximately four percent four percent of my battery for running for 40 minutes to to completely heat a meal so that means I could uh, heat a meal on this using my Generarc 20 to 30 times okay so that's great for me here at the cabin where I'm off grid. If I need to, to heat up a meal, I don't need to use my microwave. And also for camping, would be great for heating up a meal for one or two people or even a family if you've got leftovers and stuff like that that you're going to heat up. Now, it does say if it is raw food that you're cooking in this, it may take up to two hours, okay? Raw food's going to take a lot longer. But anything that is, but anything that is already preheated, precooked, uh, you should be able to do it in 30 to 40 minutes or less than an hour to heat it up. That's no problem for me because I like to throw my food in and I'll go work outside or something. Whenever I'm ready, it, the food's going to be warmed up. Now, I did notice that this makes a little tick noise. And what that tells me is it has an internal thermostat uh, that when it reaches a certain temperature, it shuts off so it's not going to overcook your food. So you could leave your food in this for a very long time and you don't have to worry about it overcooking your food, losing the moisture or drying out your food. So I'm going to set this Generarc down. I'm going to take the food out, put it on my plate, and then I'll discuss some of the other features about this uh, personal portable uh, oven. Okay, so I got my food out. As you can see, I've got my chicken patty and it is very warm chicken patty with some a uh, little bit of melted cheese on it on a bun and I've got a burrito and it feels extremely warm on both sides very warm thoroughly warmed all the way through like I said this probably works best for foods that have already been pre-cooked you can use it to also cook food it's going to take a while but you can do that uh, the case is very well made features on this zippers sewing stitching all very well made it has the aluminum lining that holds in the heat it is in an insulated bag uh, the plate I'm not going to touch because it's still hot remember that the plate is going to be hot and will take a while to cool down so don't let kids or anybody grab in there make sure that you're using some type of dish that you can get out of there I'd recommend maybe those uh, aluminum uh, pans that you can get uh, you can get them for like five for a dollar at the dollar store those would fit in here really well that's what I'm going to be getting in the future I just used a piece of aluminum foil for 
for now, and it worked great, and it keeps any food from sticking to the plate. Uh, let's see. Uh, the instructions do say, do not immerse this to clean it. Just use a, a, a wiping rag uh, and wipe it out, uh, maybe with a little bit of cleaning solution, something like that, and just wipe it out. Don't immerse it in water. It does come with the uh, DC cord. It does come with the DC cord, and this worked great off my Generarc, uh, running at uh, 60 watts, used very little power, so you should be able to use it in your vehicles, which would make it great for truckers or campers, or if you're using a power station like I am. It also comes with the 110 cord, uh, which will actually cook a little bit faster than the 12 volt will, and this is excellent because a lot of these units that they sell, they only have one power source, either they're 110 or they're 12 volt. This one includes both the cords, which I'm very happy with, okay? And it also does have a little pouch right here in the front. Uh, so if you have recipes or something like that, it has a little pouch right here in the front. So you can put your instruction manual and maybe you've got recipes or something that you want to put in there. And it also uh, has the shoulder strap, which I showed you has the shoulder straps so you can carry this along and it's got a uh, flap here in the back where you can store the AC and DC cords will go right in the back of this unit here so you can just store them in there nice compact unit made by AOTTO uh, on Amazon and I think it's going to work excellent here for me at the cabin because a lot of times I just don't want to take a lot of time to cook up meals so I have a lot of stuff that I just fix put it in here let it heat for 30, 40 minutes, and I'm ready to eat, and I can run that off my Generarc many, many times. All right, folks, I, I give it a good rating. I will have to test it in, you know, using it over and over to see how well it holds up, but I think it seems to be a very well-made unit. Uh, again, on Amazon, A-O-T-T-O, -T -T uh, personal portable oven. Thanks, and have a great day, folks. Oh, and the chicken patty and the burrito came out perfect and not dry at all, just the way I like them.